Hey guys, so today we're starting our series, Curious Contemplations, and we're going to be talking about what, if everyone knew that building balance, building leg strength wasn't the only answer to increasing our balance. Because um, we get that sometimes, you know, we'll have people tell us, we, you know, I need to build up my leg strength so I have better balance. Um, but we really need all, all over, all over strength. So I kind of like, you know, because our bodies um, move, you know, and they have to be not only strong, but also flexible. Uh, kind of like we were talking about like bamboo, you know, if we think about bamboo, it's very um, movable, but yet it's very strong. Um, so our, our leg strength is important, but not the most important. Mm -hmm. um, you also need to have good, you know, you know, think about it, would, wouldn't our feet also need to be very flexible, but strong at the same time? You know, because if our, especially like if our ankles aren't strong, um, there could be like some breaks in there. Um, but just kind of starting to think about our balance being a full body um, strengthening. Yeah, because uh, so like, <clears throat> for example, when muscles lock in place and, and, and hold, that also stops movement. It also stops reaction to outside surroundings. So for example, if a tree moved a certain way or a plant moved a certain way and held there, and stayed in that position and go in that direction, that's where it would be growing towards um, what's a necessity. But we know as the sun moves, as rain nutrients comes in, the, the idea is that we want the plant to be upright. So the thing with our own body we, is we want to be upright. So if, if, we, if we move to a certain direction and we're held there and muscles lock in place, then we're in a fixated place where we're not going to be resilient to our surroundings. Uh, we don't need to stay there. We need to be able to move with the, our environment, move with what happens. So if that, if we're not able to do that, <clears throat> then we can get stuck in a place of falling, um, of uh, disassociation of our surrounding and how we, uh, how we comprehend that in space and time. So um, like I'm thinking about that, that you just spoke about, if only our legs are strong, mm -hmm. Um, and then they're stabilizing us as we're shifting from side to side, everything else is just going to kind of be free willy all over the place. Right. Um, so that kind of takes me back to the idea to, for really good balance, um, it starts with our core and our core strength. Uh, and even if you think about a tree, you know, it's strength. Yeah. It, it roots down into the ground, but, you know, it's that core that's pulling up all the nutrients, that's um, feeding it, and also part of its, its strength. Mm -hmm. um, it's a spring that comes up and out. Correct. So, you know, our whole, to balance, it's really a full body strengthening, mm -hmm. but not just strength. You know, we, we can't just be walking around like all you know, strong man, we also have to have that ability to, to move and be flexible, mm -hmm. um, be resilient. Uh, because when we're, uh, when, when we just think strength, we create rigidity, mm -hmm. which then can create, put it, set us more up for injuries or, you know, broken body parts and things like that. Uh, so, you know, in, in thinking of it, you have to think as strong as you are, you also have to be flexible mm -hmm. in, in, in that stance. And for mm -hmm. a really good balance, we have to have a good foundation. Mm -hmm. So our feet have to be strong and flexible and our core starting from our feet coming all the way up through our center, you know, especially our core has to be, you know, strong to help keep us upright. Um, and then that makes it to where the legs aren't having to do all the work. Right. It's, and again, it's not the, 
And when you think of the larger muscle groups is what is what stabilizes us and holds us and is that actually creates all this strength, but it's the, the inner, it's the behind of the scenes, behind the scenes muscle group and tissue that that actually that you don't see is actually actually what creates the balance as a whole. So if you are thinking, okay, my quadricep muscles, my calf muscles is what is actually creating the true balance. <clears throat> it's actually looking at it backwards. When well, because those are meant to, to be fast moving muscles. So right. Those are our fight or flight muscles that spring us into action. Mm -hmm. It's the deep core muscles that help us stay strong, upright. Right. And what I call it aging with grace. They're the ones that are working in constant time. They're always working in time, even when you're, they're not on the clock. <laughs> right? Right. So they're always on the clock. The other muscles shut off at times. The core muscles, things like that, are always working. So they're always on the clock. But they're supposed to be that way. So. All right. And that's uh, just a, our little, like, we're calling them curious contemplation. So it's just things to start, you know, bringing more awareness and, um, you know, some questions and things into your movement mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, your movement practices that help support you. Um, so if you have others that you would like to learn more about. Um, and you're curious. And you're curious, let us know because we love talking about these things. Mm -hmm. um, so we will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.